Hey all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm with Rob, Michigan Rocks, here on YouTube. And we are out at Rockport Quarry today, which is an abandoned limestone quarry where you can come and find some really cool Devonian aged fossils. So that's around 360 million years old. This was a tropical sea back then and we're finding these fossils in Michigan, which is absolutely insane. And the other good part of it, about this is, I'm in Michigan. I'm not in Florida, which is currently being pummeled by Hurricane Ian, and that's no good. So luckily in Gainesville, where I live, it's not going to be a crazy, uh, crazy bad thing. Hopefully, I mean there might be a lot of wind and rain, but it looked like it made landfall somewhere in South Florida. Um, but I kind of uh, extended my trip a little bit actually to avoid going back down there during all this because I know there's going to be widespread power outages and stuff. So luckily, I'm up in Michigan right now in jackets and stuff it's probably hot down there right now but this feels nice so rob and i are going to find some cool fossils today and walk around rockport and just have a good time and take you all along with us let's do it all right we've walked into rockport quarry right here this is an old abandoned quarry a very incredible spot full of devonian aged limestone 360 million years old or so we're finding remains of the marine life from a tropical ocean that long ago here in Michigan, which is pretty incredible. You can see a lot of the rocks on the ground and we're getting deeper into the quarry. We're gonna start finding some cool fossils here soon. You can see right here, we are getting into the really, really rocky stuff. There should be some coral right around here somewhere. I thought I saw a piece. You might hear some wind too. It's a pretty windy day. So I apologize for any wind noise on the GoPro. There's a little bit of coral there. This is hexagonaria, so this is your Petoskey stone coral, but clearly this is one that has not been lake tumbled or glacier tumbled. You can kind of see the polyps on there. So we'll see a lot of that kind of stuff today. A lot of horn corals, brachiopods. I'll be looking for nice big horn corals and hopefully some cool brachiopods. And there's some other things here. There's these weird things called tentaculites that are super rare here, I believe, but I'm gonna keep my eye out for those and um, all sorts of other stuff. There's even been shark stuff found here, so who knows, there's a lot of potential today. Some really neat corals in the rock right here. I'm actually not sure the species of that coral. You can see some right there too. Really kind of neat stuff. It's a lot of like iron or something in the rock right there. Pretty incredible to be walking on the ancient ocean floor. We're coming up on the back corner here. There's a huge rock wall. That's really kind of neat to look at. I'll be in there for scale. Here gets, there's Rob for scale. That's a pretty big wall. I'm excited to see what kind of fossils are eroding out of there. Look at that, that's crazy. That thing is tall. I think it gets even taller that way, which is pretty cool. But you can see, if we walk over here to some of these stones, all kinds of fossil stuff in there. We have a really neat cliff face right here. Sometimes it feels like you're on another planet in a place like this. Check it out. Oh, don't, don't twist your ankle right there. <laughs> wow, this is wild. You can see all kinds of little fossil stuff up in there. You could even crawl under there if you wanted, but maybe not the best idea. I'm pretty high up here. There's Rob. Look at this place. This desolate wasteland of fossils. There's a, a neat horn coral stuck in the rock. I think that's a horn coral. And we're just kind of out here on this wall. There's Rob over there looking around. A lot of cool stuff right here. Saw some more corals in this rock, I believe. Some little fingering corals. Well, I kicked this around on the ground for a second because I wasn't sure what it was, and Rob was like, don't you see it? That's a melted doll arm, and he's right. This is actually part of a doll, and it's all melted. You can see the crease in the arm right there. You know me, you know I find doll parts all the time, but this is kind of next level creepy. <laughs> What do you think of that? <laughs> I it was a skull. That's my first answer to you. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, you can keep that one. Well, we'll put it in the bucket. We got to get it out of here. It's trash. Weird. 
Haven't seen a whole lot of these out here yet, but there's a crinoid stem in the rock right there. That's kind of neat. Seems to be, uh, they're a little bit more rare here. Some uh, interesting mining remnants. That is a heavy duty cable right there. So they needed to move all this ancient limestone. And right here, there's a lot of a lot of corals and stuff in the rock right there. It's kind of a, looks like the Favocytes. Oh yeah, it's actually kind of a, a cool little, little chunk of coral. There's one right there. <laughs> That's gonna come right off the rock, look at that. Chunk of coral there too. Favocytes, I think, is these ones with that kind of smaller little bit, the smaller polyps. So we were looking at this stuff here on the stone and trying to figure out exactly what it is. So Rob reminded me of this site here and we found out this is a colony coral. If you read there, it's Parallelopora, belongs to the strat stromatoporoids, an uncertain group of extinct coral-like marine organisms which built laminated irregular limey masses on coral reefs so that's super helpful for us here to look these things up online that we're unsure of but that's kind of cool big big face of that it's really kind of feels nice to to touch too really cool it's a very nice example of hexagonaria coral it's always cool to see that before it's tumbled by the lake well i mean this one won't be but kind of neat fossil specimen. It's also very windy, so you might be hearing some wind noise, but it'll be alright. Rob up there by some more cliff faces. Beautiful out here. It's a pretty nice horn coral that's actually loose out of the rock. A very neat little specimen. I'll throw her in the bucket. Well, it looks like we stumbled upon some brachiopods. Look at these little guys hanging out in the rock here. Right just a couple seconds after picking up that big horn coral. That's pretty cool. Maybe there's some loose down in this stuff. That'd be kind of cool to find a couple loose ones. There's one right there. That's loose. That's actually pretty well preserved. Check that out. Nice little brachiopod. I like these things a lot. Yeah, we're getting in the brachiopods now. Check right there out couple like attached together right there which is kind of interesting Get a little closer there's a nice one on the ground right there nice little guy it's not that I'm not impressed with them <laughs> it's just that they're very very common around here so I see them all the time not in Florida that's why I get excited <laughs> I don't know I feel like I could probably keep finding them forever and keep getting excited but who knows there's a little horn coral <laughs> there's a nice one in the rock right there nice brachiopod you can get a handful easy here. There's a little one right there, kind of a different shaped one, different different species. If you would focus on her, there we go. That's kind of neat. There's a little brachiopod right there. Pretty nice one. I think there's a pretty good sized one right there. That one's a pretty good size. Kind of a cool species of one there too. We got one right there, hanging out. It's kind of like a, oh yeah, there's a pretty big one right there too. They're all over the place right here. Kind of like a clay coming out right here that I'm finding a lot of them in, which is kind of neat. A lot of other little small corals here too. And some of the rocks here have brachiopods stuck in them. Is that one there? No. Look, at There's some little ones right there. Little guy, little one right there. Not bad. There's a pretty nice loose horn coral right there. I just picked up this rock that had a couple of brachiopods exposed in it. I love the ones in Matrix. I think they look really neat. It's always exciting to find those ones. It's a bunch of brachiopods that have fallen off of this rock right here which is loaded with them look at that kind of nice one right there and if you look down here there's a pretty big one right there kind of an interesting looking guy that one right there there's a flat interesting one right there and i saw a it's like a decent horn coral 
right there. Oh, that's a big, big old fat horn coral. That's kind of a neat one. And then I saw another brachiopod. Kind of a strange guy there, too. That's a big old brachiopod right there. I remember in one of my recent videos, I was filming these in Kentucky on the way up to Michigan, and someone commented, count how many times Kyle says brachiopod. <laughs> so let's do that in this video. Y'all put it in the comments. How many times did I say brachiopod? Have fun looking through the video and counting them. There's a big old boy right there. Nice one. I'm having way too much fun picking up all these brachiopods. Quite a few nice brachiopods right here. Oh, look at those ones. I love that species right there. And there's a pretty big one right there. Look at that. Still in some of the matrix. I mean, these things are literally all over the place right here. It's kind of like this clay slope. Really kind of neat how there's so much right in this one spot and elsewhere through the mine. You really don't see any of them. And then all of a sudden they're everywhere. I think that's a big brachiopod hiding away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that one is so nice. Oh my gosh, that's an in incredible condition too. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's so big. Uh, this is way too fun. This is way too fun for me, y'all. I love, <laughs> oh, I'm slipping. I love these things. Oh my gosh, look at that big boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> These are some of the biggest brachiopods I've ever found. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. It's kind of a neat one right there. Also pretty large. These are awesome. Got a couple laying around right here. I'm going to see if this is a nice one. Oh yeah, it's a nice big one. These are going to look really nice cleaned up, I believe. There's one hiding way up there. That one's not complete. Kind of a cool one. And then I saw some in the matrix right there. That's kind of a cool chunk right there. Just one of them stuck in the rock right there, which I enjoy. So this is kind of the side we've been finding all the brachiopods. We're way up top right here. It's really a beautiful view. See this wall extends really far that way, but look at this. Vast areas. <laughs> all down here, there's tons of brachiopods and stuff all in that. So I know my favorite part of the mine now. And we're supposed to be going to these sinkholes now over this way. Rob's been waiting on me to get my fill of brachiopods. <laughs> we're we're going to walk through the, the woods here, and there's some pretty cool sinkholes back here. So we're going to get some shots of that as well. All right. I think that means we're going the right way. <laughs> Could be. It's a clue. <laughs> Sinkholes. So we're walking. We we walked the edge of the mine for quite a long while, and now we're on this path. It's very beautiful in here. I, I always enjoy getting up in the wilderness in Michigan because it's very very different from the things I see in the southeast, and it's really gorgeous in here. So I'm excited to get up here and see these sinkholes. This is crazy. It's a big drop. This has reminded me of Florida, Rob. Sinkholes. Very common in Florida. <laughs> oh gosh, let's not slip and fall into the sinkhole. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that has a little bit of weed action going on down there. What's that, algae or like... Uh... They call it duckweed in Florida. Yeah, I, I don't know if say, it's... Duckweed or algae, one or the other. That is a long way down. That's beautiful. This is a small one. That's cool though. Wow. Yeah, it's hard just to see how deep that is, but that's way down there. This is cool. I think you're going to like the bigger ones. Yeah, let's check out some more. We're navigating on the phone to get to these sinkholes. Here's another one that's even bigger. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. Oh, it's so hard to see how far that is, but that is so far down there. Y'all can see the water. That is a massive sinkhole. The other one doesn't look so big anymore, does it? other one doesn't look so big anymore. <laughs> Rob was like, just wait till you see that other one. He, he was like, you're freaking out over this. Wait till you see these others. That is so far down there. That is beautiful. Okay, we gotta walk around it.
All right, we're on the other side of this bigger sinkhole here and you can see a bit of a rock wall right there that's falling in so you're getting that exposed limestone that's very very similar to florida these sinkholes form in this limestone which is easily dissolved by rainwater things such as that and there's caverns and whatnot that collapse over time and so we get these kind of cool rock faces in some areas exposed there's a little bunch over there bunch right there and you can kind of see that water way down there i don't know how deep that is that's how far down do you think that is rob oh i'd just be guessing i don't know long enough that i don't want to fall in <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would not be fun to fall down there that's crazy also this forest here is just kind of enchanted looking it's very beautiful in here that's a good view some rocks right there Check this out. We got some fall colors in here, y'all. Yeah, it's beautiful in here. Not seeing a whole lot of it yet, and definitely not much of it in Florida right now. But pretty nice to come up here and see some of this. It's very beautiful. We're navigating ourselves now to a bigger sinkhole. And it's getting a lot more, uh, a lot more wooded. It's kind of cool down here. Okay, look at all that color. That's awesome. Now here's this other sinkhole that's even bigger. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's go down. Rob says let's go down. Is he crazy? He might be a little crazy, but let's do it. <laughs> I'm down with going down. Where are we gonna go down at? Uh, I was thinking down this trench here. Yeah, I think that's probably a good way to go. Well, it's kind of the end of it, but let's just work our way down here. Grab onto some trees, work our way down. I'm gonna do this one-handed and film us. So if any of us go tumbling, we got it on camera. I don't think that's a good hand hold there. <laughs> no, that one's gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best idea to do one handed, but I'm pretty. I got good balance. Oh, there we go. There we are, getting closer. Whew. Rob can do it, I can do it. I mean, if the old guy can do it, the can. <laughs> I just didn't want to say it that way. Okay. <laughs> I understand why you have... <laughs> we were talking about that on the way here how I was telling Rob how I hang out with a lot of people who are older than me Rob's like yeah look at you now I'm twice your age <laughs> more more than twice you are more than twice my age oh it's a little slippery right here but I'm proud of myself for making it all the way down without uh, without falling with the GoPro one-handed not all the way down yet though, technically. Oh, I'm just gonna kinda slide right here. <laughs> Alright, now the fun part's gonna be going back up, right? I don't know. Maybe. This is cool. Wow. Look at that. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that crystal clear water. That is amazing. You can go for a dip if you want. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little cold today for that. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, we're coming up to this sinkhole, which is not as deep, but it is definitely wide. And it's got beautiful water, as you can see. We're just going to kind of go down here without falling, hopefully. And Actually, this one might be deeper if you consider uh, yeah. the bottom of the water. Yeah, that's true. This looks slippery right here. Oh. Wow, that water is blue. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous, man. Wow, I like this a lot. That's really cool. I wonder if I can get a shot of all those logs in the water there. That's kind of neat. 
Got some limestone rock down here. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Where'd Rob go? No, he's over there. Oh, this is so neat. Yeah, this one's not that far down, but I bet it's really deep in there. That would be super fun to go snorkeling in. Pretty cool, Rob. We are back down in the quarry. The sun's actually coming out a little bit right now. That feels kind of nice. Now it's time to find some more fossils. There's a pretty big old brachiopod sitting right there. I think that's one side of one of those bigger ones. I like the way this brachiopod is sitting there. Very nice one, ready to be picked up. There's kind of a cool coral right there too. Kind of an interesting coral that we don't see a whole lot of right here. I thought I saw another brachiopod, a partial right there. We're pretty high up right here. Kind of cool. Big slope full of clay and fossils. Is that one? Kind of a weird. I don't think that's actually a brachiopod. This one right there sticking out of the clay though. That one's actually pretty nice looking. I think this side's going to look really nice cleaned up. Yeah, look at that. Not too bad at all. Perhaps a nice brachiopod there. That one is pretty nice. Very cool. We've been walking this hillside. And there are brachiopods everywhere. But if you fall, it ain't going to feel good. Look at this huge brachiopod I just picked up there. It's got a lot of rock attached to it. If this stuff is similar to some Florida stuff, I can probably dissolve that rock off of there. Due to the limestone. And that was right here. And there's got another huge one right there. Look at that thing. That's also a huge brachiopod. There's some big, some big boys in here. There's a couple brachiopods laying around here. There's one. There's one side of a pretty big one. There's a pretty big one stuck in the rock. And I saw there's a piece of one there that's not great though. And there's one side of one there that's kind of cool. Nice detail on it. They're just everywhere right here. <laughs> See one right there. Pretty cool one. There's a big one right here that's got some matrix attached to it, but it's a big large one and then there's a pretty cool looking one right there not complete there's one right there nice and complete there's one right there it's one side of it and there's one right there that's not complete and there's one right there there's so many it's insane that was all in one little spot check out how big that one is that's pretty cool to see the hinges there. It's a little bit beat up on this side, but that's a pretty cool fossil. There's a couple interesting corals. I just picked this one up and Rob picked that one up. I don't believe these are horn coral. Um, if y'all have any ideas, let me know in the comments. It could be just something else. I, I think this is definitely a horn coral, this one right here. But I think those other two are a little different. There's another horn coral there too. Starting to get a lot of horn corals, or just corals in general, right here. So right up here on the screen, I'm going to have a video linked, one of Rob's videos. Rob, what are we going to see here? Uh, I think I'll put a video of a trip I went to the Keweenaw Peninsula recently, and we looked in old mine piles, mine tailing piles, and found some copper and other cool stuff. And I went for a cool Jeep ride. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So that sounds super interesting. That's going to be linked up on the screen, so make sure y'all go check that out. Thanks for hanging out with us today at Rockport Quarry. We had an awesome time, found some cool fossils, and just got out on a beautiful day and enjoyed the beautiful wilderness here in Michigan. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.